Good evening, everybody. This is Laura Susan Johnson with Period Pieces, and it is almost the end of Election Day, November 8th, here in the United States. And the movie I'm going to do tonight is A Mighty Heart from 2007 directed by Michael Winterbottom, who also directed one of my favorite movies, Jude. Um, A Mighty Heart is a very complicated but beautiful film. It's very hard to follow unless you're paying absolute attention to it because it's very detailed. It has a lot of players. the whole puzzle has a lot of players and if you miss any of the minute details you might get confused. It's very fast paced. Um, It's taken me at least five or six viewings to fully get the whole plot but it's so worth it. Um, Angelina Jolie stars as real-life journalist Marianne Pearl, she works for a French newspaper, I believe. And her late husband, Daniel Pearl, was a famous journalist from the New York Times, I believe it is. If I made a huge error with that, I'll I'll correct it. Um, The day after 9-11 occurred, they both got on an airplane and relocated to Karachi, Pakistan to uh, cover different things that were going on over there in relation to 9-11. Pakistan basically even though Afghanistan was where the Al-Qaeda terrorists were hiding bin Laden, Pakistan definitely has its share of radical Muslim terrorism, and of course they have an ongoing conflict with India. I think even to this day they do. Such a political, religious hotbed in that area of the world. Um, It's actually so much better than many of the other films that have come out pertaining to 9-11. Like I said, there's so many names in this horrible puzzle which is solving the abduction of Danny Pearl. Um, he, He apparently made arrangements to interview a a sheik of of some name and that's how that's how very very complicated this movie is, is it's easy to forget which name went went with which character. But there's a lot of names. There's uh, Jelani, Farouk, Arif, Omar, Bashir, and Suleiman, among many, many names. And as, as Marianne and her friends that help her out and support her during this search that lasts about, I think it's 11 days or so. Uh, There are so many false leads, so many sleepless nights. And on top of it all, Marianne has to try to maintain calm because she's pregnant with their first child. The kidnapping motive wrestles with any human's morals and emotions because... A lot of the Pakistanis and the Afghanis who are pretty much allied together through their religious and political uh, motives are angry about the treatment of prisoners of war at Gitmo uh, in Cuba and so and that and that place has been the subject of controversy for eons. It's been the subject of controversy for so many in so many different movies have been made about it too. And again, add to that the conflict between India and Pakistan. Um, Marianne's friend uh, Azra, who's played by Archie Punjabi, 
she is uh, during the during the movie she's you know she's not arrested or openly accused but in the gossip newspapers she is um, rumored to be an Indian spy trying to you know smear them the uh, Islam Islamists or something into the dirt or into the mud so to speak also in the cast is John Bussey as Dennis, one of the investigators that helps uh, Mary, Marianne Pearl. Uh, Dan Futterman plays Daniel Pearl. Irfan Khan plays Captain. There's no name for him, he's just the captain. I guess the captain of this Karachi police force that helps her out tremendously trying to find him. Um, I kind of wish they'd given his name, but maybe it was for his safety that they did not give his name. I don't know. But the actor does a great job, Irfan Khan. Will Patton plays Randall Bennett, and I think he's an FBI agent or with the U.S. consulate. Jillian Armante, Arman, Armanante plays an FBI agent named Platt. She doesn't do much except kind of irritate me when she kind of acts like uh, non-Americans shouldn't have any privilege to the in investigation, which I thought was kind of, you know, American ego of her. And Ali Khan plays a key character named Omar, a.k.a. Bashir. And that was kind of a spoiler, so again, I will put spoilers at the front of this review. The Pearls the couple, uh, Marianne and Daniel, they're just living in a very ba bad place in a very bad time, but they're living there because they are journalists. They don't take it, uh, they, they don't take into account that where they're living might be dangerous. Dangerous part of their job. I don't think a lot of people realize how dangerous, um, foreign journalism is. And Daniel Pearl was of Jewish descent. He was very proud of his Jewish heritage and his common knowledge that radical Muslims and Jewish people do not mix. Especially if the Muslims feel persecuted by, you know, all other religions. And if they feel, and if they've been told that the Jewish community were uh, part of the conspiracy behind 9-11, which I don't believe. I don't believe anything about all this. I don't believe any of the conspiracy theories anymore. But I just know that I am doing this movie tonight, of all nights, because one of the candidates that's running for president has openly said that he does not want any more Muslims allowed into this country and it's not fair. I, I, you know, I'm of the opinion that religion has ruined a lot of lives and I'm also under the opinion of everybody should be allowed to practice whatever religion they choose as long as they don't hurt people or animals or whatever. As long as they don't hurt any sentient beings, they should be allowed to practice their religion. I'm not really fond of um, animal sacrifice, no matter what religion it is. Uh, I didn't find this movie to be anti-Muslim or anti-Semitic in any way, and I but yet I still feel it, it probably got some backlash from one group or another. It's just very, uh, it's simply very fast, fa very fast paced and very complicated and, and it's a very loving portrait, but it's also a very horrifying story. Um, the people who murdered Mr. Pearl hated Americans. They didn't hate specific Americans, I don't think. They just hated Americans, period. Uh, it was a dangerous place for any American to be, it did, not just Jewish Americans. And they said, simply, well, he was an American, that's why they killed him. 
And after all, wasn't that the motivation behind the 9-11 attacks? That's probably the end of my review. It's um, very difficult for me to review movies like this without going too deep into political territory. Needless to say, I'm kind of dreading the results of tonight's election. It hasn't been... I haven't seen any results. I've been avoiding looking at it all day. And I'm, I don't know whether to be optimistic about it or not. Um, no matter who wins, I don't know whether to be optimistic. But I know that if one certain candidate wins, um, we all lose in some way won't be. I will miss Obama very much. Alright, and I give this movie a 10 out of 10 because it's very, very good.